Hey, what's going on, guys? This is your boy Statement coming at you with another commentary on the map uh, Summit. I'm playing the competition playlist right now. I was sniping, and I joined late in this game, and I still think I get a pretty good playlist because in this playlist, um, this is where people come to practice for like game battles and MLG and whatever else you want to think about that's competitive. Um, Deserto sometimes, I guess the EU players. I don't think I have any EU subs yet, so. But, um, yeah, this is where they come to practice, and they try to win, you know, so I figured I'd do some sniping in this thing, you know, and I was like, oh, when I when I first got into the lobby, I was like, oh, I'm probably going to go negative, I probably won't get a good score, and surprisingly, I got a really good score, I ended up going 17-5 and five in this game, and um, at the beginning, I left like five seconds in there just to show y'all that it was I was barely starting like halfway in the game. And I think I end up going the best in the lobby. Like, I think I get the best score in the lobby. I get two captures and two defends or something like that with the 17 and 5. Sniping with the PSG. And there's only, for those of you who don't know, there's only certain perks that you can use. And there's no kill streaks at all. And um, so that makes it a lot more tougher. A lot of people use the FAMAS because obviously it's the most powerful gun in the game. Even after nerf, I think, I'm pretty sure it's still... It's still pretty overpowered. You'll see people using the AUG. The AUG, the AUG is compared to the FAMAS a lot. And yeah, I, this is going to be a really short video because since I joined late, there's only like, I think it's six and a half minutes in uh, MLG Domination game. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played competitively. But uh, this just shows like how this competition playlist isn't very competitive. I, I, I think it's like... Like, it helps the competitive players that play it, but in a sense it doesn't because you're not getting any competition. Like, as long as you know how to play competitively and you know how to work the maps. Because I played competitively before, and if you haven't seen them, I have a lot of competitive videos up on my channel. Well, not a lot, like four or five, but still. I I basically carry the team by myself. I didn't want to say carry because I'm not, like, I don't go extremely positive. But for competition players, this is actually pretty good, like... In game battles, I might do this with a FAMAS, you know, like, it's really hard, but, it's really hard to explain, but, I just want to upload this because, uh, I haven't uploaded in a couple days, and I go ham in competition playlist, so, I'll talk to you guys later, I think there's only, like, maybe 30 seconds left in the video, peace. Oh, and I forgot to say one thing, for those of y'all who are like, oh, he's using the PSG with ex steady aim extended mags, I'll take any kind of, uh, help I can get because a bunch of these guys are using like the overpowered guns in the game well not the overpowered guns but like the stronger guns in the game like the 74U, AK-47, AUG and FAMAS so that's why I was using the PSG with extended mags because I'll take any help I can get using a sniper since I'm already down on the, the gun you know what I'm talking about like I'm already down in a gunfight because I'm using a sniper instead of a regular gun so th that's why I'm using these guns for those of y'all who are like oh he's using the most overpowered sniper so, um, I just figured I'd make that clear, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Target neutralized. Losing C. We're being dominated. Take those positions. <laughs> 